Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another episode of Norwich City News Daily, these video series where I bring you all of the latest Norwich City news so you don't have to go scouring the internet for them. And I'll also give you a little bit of opinion on it as well. So the first one is all to do with Stephen Naismith, probably the man that we've talked about the most in the last couple of weeks, mainly due to his fairly good performances, but also the fact he's done a lot of money at this football club. And with the seven players being released, there's talk of more going. Stephen Naismith is that man that's being talked about now. Now he's saying here on the Pinkham that Stephen Naismith is earning in excess of £50,000 a week. Now I thought it was a little bit less than that, but to be fair, we brought him in from a big club in the Premier League. We wanted him to keep us up. He didn't do that. Um, yes, there would have been a relegation clause in there somewhere, but he's still one of our top earners, if not the top earner at the football club. Now, the talk is at the moment is that he's linked with Rangers, of course, who we've played with before. Um, and basically, the talk is what is the fee going to be? So the problem we've got here is that most clubs aren't going to play for his wages and also a transfer fee. He, the only clubs that can really afford these kind of numbers are like top clubs across Europe. Is Nate Smith a top player across Europe? No, probably not. He'd probably just about scrape into a Premier League team, but I think there's better value players. Now, we obviously can't stop paying him his wage, so we need someone to basically take him for a small uh, transfer fee and then be able to pay him the wages. So there was a thought from Norwich and a rumour being going about that Norwich and Rangers would agree a zero pound fee and then he'd go to Rangers and then they'd continue to pay his wages and he would be a Rangers player. So that's the current link. Now, I suppose the question that I'm going to be asking you is, would you want to save that £50,000 a week on Stephen Naismith or would you like to keep an experienced, and to be fair, a player who does return goals and assists at the club? That is the question. And I know I have a lot of Rangers fans watching these as well. So would you take Stephen Naismith back? Um, Look, I can't see Stephen Naismith being here next season. I suppose the big thing is, is let's try and get as much money as possible for it. Because let's not forget, we did pay eight and a half million pounds for this man. As much as Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. Um, and it would be a, a serious shame to then go and lose that money. Um, so it'd be nice to get a couple of million back, maybe. The next story is Michael O'Neill, the Northern Ireland boss who has been linked with Norwich City in the last couple of days. And he basically said that he's not going to be coming to Norwich City and that he's not really ever been linked with Norwich City. He's currently the Northern Ireland manager. He's loving his time there. He's done a very good job there. And basically the whole premise was that he's a manager, not a head coach. He wouldn't want to work under this current structure that Norwich City have got. It's a kind of modern structure that we've adapted to, isn't it? And there's gonna be a lot of people out there that won't want to work under such tight control from a sporting director. Michael O'Neill isn't one of them people, or is one of them people. He wants to continue managing his country, as that is the dream for a lot of people. He wants to continue doing good things with Northern Ireland, and he also doesn't really want to work under a sporting director in Stuart Webber. So I think you can um, cross Michael O'Neill off, and I guess that kind of limits our options now. There hasn't been too many managers linked with this job. To be fair, it looks at the moment like Uwe Rosler is still the favourite. And if I was a betting man, I'd probably get my money on him. Uh, and the last story, the final story, is Johnny Housen has been linked with a move back to Leeds. Now, this all came about from Phil Hay, who is like the big Leeds journalist, and he's always pretty on the money. Someone tweeted him and said, uh, do you think that uh, we could go in for Johnny Housen? Phil Hay replied, the word is that he is available, a player Leeds could do with. Um, I'm not too sure how to take this one. I don't think that Johnny Housen will leave Norwich City. He's got a family in Norwich. Of course he loves Leeds. There's no doubt about that. But he loves Norwich as well, I think. Probably not as much as Leeds, but he's here. He'll be on good money. He's got more of a chance with Norwich to go up next season. He's one of our biggest players. There'll be a lot of emphasis put on that, I'm sure of it, um, to Johnny Housen and to show him that he is an important player. But would he want that move back to Leeds? They've had a great season this year. I think it's going to be a little bit tougher for them next season, but we'll see. I can't see Johnny Housen moving this summer, uh, probably because I just don't want him to, so I'm convincing myself that he won't. But it would be a real shame to see Johnny Housen go back to Leeds because our 
our midfield runs around them pretty much. So that would be a real shame. But let me know your thoughts on all of these stories. Stephen Naismith is the big one. Would you like to see him leave the club or stay? Guess is all down to the finances, much like John Ruddy, really. Uh, Michael O'Neill, he's ruled himself out of the Norwich City job. Thoughts on that? And also Johnny Housen, linked with Leeds. What do you make of that? Thanks very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. More importantly, hit subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Peace out.